Hi everyone, Shane from The Reptile Doctor. And today's patient is one that I don't think we've done a video on one of these guys before. This is a saltwater crocodile, it's only a juvenile one. So I'll just to give you an idea of the size, that's its head and that's my fist, so it's only a little guy. But uh, this is Charlie, and Charlie's here today because Charlie's actually got a sore tooth, which is always a bit of a challenge in a croc. So you can see here on the nose, there's a little wound just here. And that's because the tooth growing down from on the mandible, the lower jaw here, is actually growing up into the top of the mouth. So if we come around the other side here, you'll see that tooth here, that one there, is sitting on the outside of the gum and that's where it should be. So what I've done with Charlie is sedated her and we're going to um, get in there and actually remove that tooth that's down there. That will grow back, but we're going to try and make it grow in the right position and hopefully... Um, fix this little infection that's going on there. So so we'll go ahead and get a mouth gag put into her and then we'll show you the inside of the mouth. So we've got Charlie sedated and as you can see, we've got a padded mouth gag in. It's actually a small snake hook that I've padded the end of just so it protects the teeth. And my nurse Carla and her purple nails are holding it open and making sure we don't lose any fingers. So um, what we can see up on the upper jaw here, just where that tooth's sitting, there's just a little bit of pus just sitting there and there's a little bit of a wound up underneath that and that's been caused by these lower teeth you can see here that tooth there is just sitting at a strange angle and it's just not lining up where it's supposed to on that upper one so, so we'll take this tooth out and that should hopefully fix that problem So what I've got in my hand is a small animal elevator, dental elevator, and what I'm going to do is just work my way around this tooth and just pry it out and pop it out. So it shouldn't really take a lot to get out. Um, crocs lose their teeth continuously, they shed their teeth and grow new ones. So and we'll show you the x-ray that we took of this guy, it's really interesting to see how the teeth sit inside one another. But I'll go ahead and take that out and then we'll give that a clean I'll up. i around in there that. and I've got that tooth out, you can see the, the hole that is left. And here is the tooth. So that's the top part of the tooth just here. And as I was taking it out, it unfortunately snapped, but that's the root of it. So we've got the whole thing out. And uh, hopefully the new one that forms and grows back will come back at a better angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the, the roof of the mouth there where that little bit of infection is, and that should get that under so control. I'm just going ahead cleaning this hole, and you can actually see the tooth is actually punctured right up through the upper lip, and my probe is going up through there. And there's a little pus pocket that I got that little bit of muck out of. So. We've just cleaned up that material and we'll just give that a clean up with some antiseptic but this guy's not going to need any specific antibiotics or anything like that. It's going to heal up without too much of a problem. So this is the x-ray that we've taken of this crop's mouth. I just took this more for general interest sake. It wasn't necessarily something that we had to do but I just wanted to show you. So this side here we've marked it with a small needle so we know which side is which but this is the tooth that um, is okay. It's not the one causing the problem. So you can see this, the outside part of the tooth and the new tooth is growing inside it. This is the tooth that we've taken out and you can see here that the new tooth is coming from up in here so they're sort of hollow teeth and they sort of sit on top of each other. Pretty interesting looking x-ray, pretty interesting animal. So here's just a couple of bit of final footage just to show you that she has got up from her sedation and we'll put that tape back on her mouth just so we don't get bitten but we'll send her home today and we would expect her not to have a problem. We'll keep an eye on the growth of that new tooth and hopefully it will grow in the right spot.